What are your thoughts on coming out videos? Coming up video? Coming out video. Have you ever seen one before? Actually, I haven't. I've seen some on uh, Tubi. <laughs> What's, What's so, so funny, funny about that? <laughs> that name, Tubi. <laughs> He's making fun of you, Bob. I know. I'm going to show you some coming out videos and get your reaction to them. Oh, great. Sound good? Yeah. 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 Yes, I want to see them. Great, let's get started. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank all of you for letting me feel your love. Mm. Um, I hope you feel mine. Very good. Um, it's taken me a long Very time good. to get here. I am gay. Mm. I'm asked to play so many different roles as an actor. Mm. Tonight, I can actually be myself for the first time. That's true. It feels incredible. So true. Oh, that's wonderful. It's very courageous of him mm -hmm. in a business that is tremendously homophobic. But it sure has changed in the yeah. last decade. Yeah, great speech. And his heartfelt emotions coming out was just incredible. You could feel the joy that he had. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? No. 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 Colton Haynes? He's known by uh, a younger generation. Yes. And we're old gay. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in the video? He's feeling his freedom. Mm -hmm. And it's cool. nice to feel that and get acknowledged for being who you are and knowing that you have support. It's a validation of who you are, a declaration of who you are, and it's liberating. I also get a good feeling because I think each of us in our own small way help make this possible. It is so natural now, and I think it has to do with a whole lot of us just being ourselves and letting society accept us for who we are. Mm. 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 So what did you think of the video? It was smooth and very um, informative without saying a word. Yes, totally captivating. But I think that was communicating gayness at many different levels. Queerness even? Yeah. Mm. What would you describe as happening in the video? The more his gay identity revealed itself, the more elaborate the costuming was, the more motion there was to the dance. While that brought to him an element of joy, it also brought an element of questioning and conflict. How did it make you feel? I felt it as being a minority. It was another minority. And it's harder for us. Why? I'd like to know that. Uh, why? Because you would think that minorities would understand and be more caring, but it's just the opposite in the black community, the Asian community, the Latin community. We want to be accepted, but sometimes it's hard and you just have to walk away and plant your feet strong and say, this is who I am. If you have a problem with it, it's your problem, not mine. When you come out of the closet, you're out. You have to live your life as a gay, openly gay person. There's no way of going back in. Don't want to. And each day, that you are out of the closet, the happier you will be. I lost one of my earphones and I don't know where it went. <laughs> it's still not sticking. I have deformed ears. I can see that. Oh, I think I know this one. I'd like to. He's hot. When you finally get to that point of acceptance, um, there's nothing more yes. beautiful. And I think the country is ready yep. for an openly gay uh, basketball player. That's right. What do you think? I remember this. There's uh, always got to be a first. And I think he opened a lot of doors, too. I think he was just being himself. And then he added the, I'm gay. And they go, oh, OK, whatever. There was nothing to be scared of because they knew him. Good point, you yeah, say. Yeah, Very well, I, good I, point. I, I went through that in my, my life. I, I'm just say, who happens to be black who happens to be gay, but I'm still me. But there's a strength in knowledge knowing that it's not me with the problem. That's it's it. the other guy who's got the problem. Yes, exactly. That's what it's about. I've never come out. I've just been me. If somebody asks, I'd say I'm gay, but I don't put it out there and publicize it because I'm just me. And, and if you have a problem with that, I've gotten at the age, now I'm an old gay. It's like, you got a problem? <laughs> Deal with it, baby. I, I don't have time. And it's
finally time for me to share something with you guys. I am transgendered. Oh, pretty too. I just want there to be a time where no one has to hide who they are. Yeah. But now it's my turn to step up. Good for you, girl. Great, great dissertation on her part. It seems to me that she has enough ambitions and feelings of her own self-worth that at such an early age she can go do this. I think the most profound uh, words she said, nobody else is going to believe you unless you believe yourself. I can't, I can't even imagine going through what she's gone through. She hasn't worn a dress since she was 12 years old, she said. I really applaud her for her rationale and how she presented everything. She's being herself. Yes. I'm, I'm gay and Austin is too. <laughs> They're blessed to have had each other. And they're extremely blessed to have a very understanding father. I felt his, his warmth. Can you explain what's happening in the video? They're calling their dad because they want to come out to him, because they want to be themselves with him. But they want their dad to hear it from them before, before he they hears hear it on, it from it on you. somebody else. I was re <laughs> remarking about the little ticks that they would do, the way they would touch their face and things like that, how nervous they were. Did it feel relatable? I could understand their nervousness and, and apprehension, but I've never experienced telling my parents that I was gay, so I've never been there. Uh, my dad died in my first year of college, and so there really never was much of a chance. You know what I did? What? My dad died the first year of college. I hadn't come out to him. In that coffin, I came out to him. And it was a freeing moment because I got to say it to him. But I knew, too, that if I'd said it when he was alive, that I would probably be dead. <laughs> you know? And that was like, when I, when I said that, it's like everything lifted in my world. It's like, I felt like I, I can breathe. I am me now. And I started to live for the first time. Hmm. Is there anything all these videos have in common? Fear. It's a strength. Very, and it's a very emotional experience. Mm -hmm. Do you think these videos are helping people? I hope oh, so. Oh, yeah, I, I would I think. would think so. I, I think the greatest yeah, thing yes. that all these videos showed was the relief of what happens after someone says it. Just lifting those weights off their shoulders. They can feel at peace with themselves. It's a form of liberation. What did you think of this experience? Moving. It was. Did you learn anything new? That there's more than one way of telling your story. Did you have anything comparable to coming out videos back when you were looking for resources? Oh, no, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Absolutely not. Dream on. We didn't have any peers we could even talk to. We At didn't even did. have the internet. We didn't even have role models. Do you wish you did? Yeah. Yeah. It would have made it a would big have helped, difference. Yes. Why is coming out so important? The purpose of coming out and coming out to each other and being important for each other is for other gay people who may still be in the closet to say, yeah, I can do this too. Because the more we keep coming out, the more we can't be denied. That's right. And it's important to come out so that everybody around us and each other understands who we are.